Martial arts athlete hopes will materialize the number one heavyweight contender making the walk for his first title fight here in the U.S. I mean, the nerves are going crazy for this man right now. He's so nervous. Has he done everything he needs to do? Has he not left any stone unturned? He says that he has prepared. He says that his body's ready. His mind's ready. He feels physically good in the spot taking on a long-rated champion. If he's going to get this done, it's going to take something truly special. He does not believe jitters will be a factor here tonight. He has built his career methodically to this point. We'll see if we hear the words and do. Fathers, really, of mixed martial arts. Bruce Lee is back in a big spot here tonight. Bruce Lee is what every kid looked to when they thought about doing karate. Bruce Lee is the person that anyone looked at when they said, I want to be a fighter. It was the speed. It was the charisma. It was the approach of Bruce Lee that made him so special. And tonight, he's going to look to show a new generation of fighters exactly how it's supposed to be done. And if you hear the phrase, drillers make killers, right? I mean, that was Bruce Lee in a nutshell. He felt like practice yes, would make yes. perfect. Nobody trained as hard as the great Bruce Lee. Bruce Lee. And that means we are set for our main event of the evening. Our tale of the tape for this heavyweight championship fight. And now to get us started, here is Bruce Buffett. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. It's time! Five round for the undisputed UFC Heavyweight Championship of the World. It's a disappointment. Fighting out of the blue corner, presenting the challenger. And now introducing the champion, fighting out of the red corner, ladies and gentlemen, presenting the reigning, defending, undisputed UFC heavyweight champion of the world, Bruce the Dragon. Herb Dean, our hey, referee hey. for this one. Hey. Yeah. All right, here is Bruce Lee getting ready for another UFC start as we begin round one. So fast, so quick, so good at setting up striking angles, and it's hard to simulate the speed in training. I know the opponent has talked a lot about trying to find training partners to simulate Bruce Lee. Easier said than done. Bruce Lee trying to get off to a good start tonight. Oh, he blocked that punch. Nicely done defensively. A nice connection on the counter punch there, and oftentimes DC can be easier to be a counter strike when you have such a pronounced edge in reach. Oh, big left hook there. Lee gets hit with yet another flush left to the head. He's got to figure out a way to get those hands up and shore things up defensively here. Oh, that head kick was nasty. All right, so one minute into the fight, we've got a full-on brawl here, DC. It's great for the fans, not necessarily for the gas tank if this thing goes much longer. Not great for the gas tank and not good for the old noggin. You can't <laughs> take so many upside the head. Somebody's going to sleep. Just misses with that one. They're so evenly matched, they're going to attack. 
Well, what got through, that kick was good. Keeps going back to that jab, keeps throwing that jab, but unable to win. Oh, high amplitude head kick! Guess the single collar time now. Just over three minutes to go, round one. Targeting the body with the kick now. Fighter lands a kick now, and a pretty good one at that. All right, let's go. Let's get those hands going now. Oh, really exploiting his reach advantage as he landed the jab there, DC. Straight right, he misses. Oh! You heard him. Jab there by Lee. Keep the pressure on. Everything's landing. Tried to go to the body, but unable to connect. Oh, perfect combination. Oh, and he lands another combination here, really starting to get into a striking group. I mean, in stringing them together so effectively, never throwing the same attack more than once. What a job to recognize all the openings in his opponent's defenses. Lee going for the leg kick. Nothing doing there. Ooh, what a punch. Nice job to connect there with the left. Both fighters exchange in the pocket here. Big power shot there. Try to establish that jab. Straight punch there by Lee. Oh! In a ton of trouble right now. Oh! Under a minute to go in our opening round. Let's go. Set up that high kick now. Lee gets absolutely tagged by that stiff jab. Hands higher. Hands higher. I am starting to lose track of how many punches. This guy has landed to the head of his opponent. He's got to be careful dipping his head when he's throwing that jab. And now Leather being thrown on both sides. Lee gets caught with that punch. He's treading water now. Got to find a way to move those feet. Let your hands go. Let those hands go. Nice shot there by the champ. 15 seconds. So an entertaining five minutes. Let's look back at some of the highlights, DC. And I'd imagine a lot of these replays are going to be rooted in that kicking game that was on full display. Absolutely. You're going to see a lot of different techniques, but the kicking was the key to him getting ahead in this fight. He's out ahead now. He needs to stay the course and continue to do that as the fight goes on. You ready to fight? Ready. Second round on the way. All right, DC's back from the can as we get this next round underway, and his striking in that previous round was so good. I got tired just watching that out. I mean, he did a great job of landing strikes, but not only just punches, not only just strikes, there were significant strikes. A lot of punches outside of the jab. I've gotten in trouble a lot of times about what's significant and what's not. Right. But I'm telling you, he landed a lot of punches that were... To the target. Let's see if his opponent can survive. I cannot believe he is still standing after taking that punch. Well, why fix what's not broken? Why not go right back to that overhand here again? Huge 
block there. Lee's cut above the eye, and that blood figures to start to trickle down. Could compromise his vision here moving forward. Leg kick now. Oh, body kick attempt here, it's no good. All right, well, good news is he rocked him. Bad news is he wasn't able to finish the job, and now his opponent's back in the fight. I mean, you don't get those opportunities very often. You got to take full advantage of them when they're presented to you. All right, so now we start to see some redness underneath the elbow. You got to think he's going to continue to attack the body with all of his strikes. Well, his opponent has not done anything to deter him. He should keep doing this, keep going to the well until his opponent finds an answer because right now, he seems lost to it. One, two, three, and once again, looking for that highlight reel KO with that front kick. These boys are standing right in front of each other just kind of going at it. And doing work with the jab. Well, the more things change, the more they stay the same. He continues to land a high volume of strikes on his opponent at will. Well, I mean, John, the guy can fight everywhere. And he can fight everywhere, meaning he can fight on the ground. He can fight in the stand-up. But he's also able to do it because his cardio is so good. Right. This is one of the best fighters that we have seen for a long time, and it is showing in this performance. So the blood really starting to flow. Every time that area gets targeted, that cut's getting worse. It's getting worse and worse. And you see the blood starting to come down. That is when you start to watch the fighter to see what type of effect. Big strike lands. Big strike lands. Now he looks to try to chase down that finish. Oh, nice kick. Oh, there it is. That's that one, that right hand. Oh, nice body shot. Under two minutes now to go. Well, his corner was pretty urgent after round one. A little bit lackluster there in that opening round. He has certainly picked up the pace here, and as a result, he has taken control of this second round. Oh, and the Superman punch is good. Oh, oh he's still hurt. Look at that. He can't even stand. Cutting him down the size with these beautiful leg kicks. All right, good job by him there to raise the guard and protect his head. He's doing a good job of keeping the guard high, blocking his head, making sure he's not taking those damaging strikes up top. Big shot to the head. Lee's body getting all sorts of bruised up on that right side now. Just missing on the high kick there. Heavy leg landed on both sides in that exchange. Just misses with the straight left hand. Thirty seconds to go in the round. Jab gets the attention of his opponent. Looks like someone took a red sharpie to his side. A lot of bruising courtesy of those body strikes. So big kicks, big punches. He's doing everything he told us he intended to do to slow this guy down. And you can see his opponent starting to really be labored in most of his movements. Right, there's the horn, the round is over, but not before he was cut on his nose from the strikes in that round. Back to the stool, cut man is in. Should be able to shut that cut and prevent it from becoming an issue moving forward. But of course, as soon as he gets struck in that next round, it could open back up. All right, let's now look back at some of the action from that round. He went head hunting, landed, nearly got the finish too. A lot of coaches tell you don't head hunt. In this case, he's been head hunting, and he landed a big enough shot to truly put his opponent on notice. Ready. Ready. 
Good. Round three of a possible five. All right, next round is now underway. DC, any major takeaways after the previous five minutes? That both of these guys are very evenly matched. The matchmakers did a fantastic job when they put these two in the octagon. Even though it wasn't crazy, you got to see high-level mixed martial arts. Somehow, his opponent's chin held up. His opponent's chin held up, but you do not want to be on the receiving end of those types of strikes. Big right hand. Well, most fighters can't keep up this type of aggression and pace, but you don't have to worry about this guy. He hasn't really showed any signs of slowing down tonight. Well, it's been a wild fight thus far. Perhaps a contender for some bonus money at fight's end. These guys are going to have to dig deep. They're both hurt. They're both hurt. You expected it, though. You expected a close fight. You did not expect a war like this, though, where both guys, from the moment they said fight, went forward, got in each other's face, and just beat each other up. It's been tremendous. Good defense blocking that punch. Oh, that's a brutal cut on his nose there. He is bleeding. Hard shots landing on both sides here. Beautiful technique on the straight right hand. Lee circling now towards the left. Beautiful body kick. All right, so some definite damage underneath the elbow now on the side of his opponent. A lot of strikes to the body starting to start to add up. Yeah, a lot of strikes to the body and mixing up the attack, not being one-dimensional, not headhunting inside the octagon. I, I think he has fought beautifully right now, and it's starting to show itself. Beautiful strike there as he continues to attack that cut. Cut man's gonna have some work to do if we get to the stool between runs. But that's why we got the best in the business. We got the best cut men in the business, and they're going to need him right now because this cut is getting worse, and it's only gonna continue to get worse because he has got a killer in front of him. And we have passed the midpoint of the fight. Well, he is really starting to apply a lot of pressure here down the stretch. Not as much offense earlier in the fight. He is making up for lost time now. Nice jab there by Lee. Dude's in a good flow state, landing punch after punch. Trying to go to the... <laughs> Well, it seems like there has been an opening for that overhand all night long. Let's see if he goes back to it here. Some damage being doled out, and now some swelling upstairs on his opponent. He's not moving his head effectively. He's trying to be face first. Look, you don't have to prove how tough you are. You got to move your head. Be active. Don't be reactive in your defenses. Well, that overhand big weapon form throughout his career, it's been there all night. Look for him to go back to it here. dividends later. Under 20 seconds now to go. Lands a hook there. Beautiful shot lands the leg there. Uh. 
All right, three rounds down, potentially two more to go. We are headed to the championship rounds. All right, so there's the end of the round. You see the blood trickling down as he makes his way back to the stool. Cut on the bridge of the nose, or so it appears from the strike in that round. Cut man getting right to work. All right, so a huge round for him there. Nearly had him out of there with the head kick. Did get the knockdown. Talk us through the replay. He got the knockdown. He won the round. He did everything correct. The only thing he didn't do is finish the fight. But if he continues down the path, if he continues to do the exact same thing as he did before, he will get that finish. You ready to fight? Ready. Go. We have arrived at the fourth round fight scheduled for five five-minute rounds. All right, fourth round is now underway as we get to the championship rounds. What is a fighter's mindset when you get to this 16th minute? This is when you understand that nothing is ever going to be harsh. This is the hardest round in fighting. This is going to really test your will and your desire to become champion. Well, just as he did the previous round, continuing to land a hook. Oh, that's the biggest he's so right thus far. How's his opponent still standing? I mean, I have no idea. This fight is supposed to be over. And it might not be over now, but it's going to be over very soon. There's the leg kick. That one checked by Lee. Continues to sway with every huge shot being landed. Back and forth we go. Oh! Does a great job of mixing up his strikes. Lands another leg kick. Oh. This is big. That's big. Able to connect with a beautiful jab. He does everything so well, and he's so calm. He's so calm in the face of such a big spot. Nice block. Do not back up. Let's go oh, back and forth we go. Oh, he is black and blue all over, maybe even dealing with a fractured rib. But the body strikes have been the narrative in this one. It feels like we're getting close to a stop. We're getting very close. I mean, I, I can't imagine he'd be able to take many more. We may be one body shot away from this guy just not being able to stand. Toughness on full display, but he got beat by the better fighter tonight. He's cut. Get the elbow. Under three minutes to go in round four. Tough to take down, no problem. Nice land with that punch, clearly taking advantage of his big edge and reach. Right on the ball. Best head kicks you'll ever see. You don't really stand after you take a head kick like this. That is such toughness to even be on his feet right now. Oh, a big left hand. Barely missed there. Two minutes remain in the round. He's really targeting that cut right now, and why not? He has opened up his opponent. Might as well continue to attack that particular area. Oh, shot to the body connects there. He hasn't really thrown too many body strikes in this fight, but now, as this fight goes on, he is not discriminating, working the body, and those shots are gonna count. Trying to go... Oh, he's wobbling now. Keep your hands up. Oh, the hip kick lands. Lee's head kick attempt, that one is blocked. You know, that's, that's a big thing whenever you're blocking high kicks, man. You cannot just take the brunt of that kick on one arm. You have to get that cross arm to try and guide that kick so you don't take all of it. Let's open up that now. Quick jab lands there. Under a minute now to go. 
Well, that left hand has been there a ton. Oh, that is a huge shot right there, DC. That'll do it! Oh! Woo! That has got to feel good! I mean, wow. Just a relentless effort out of this fighter here tonight. The ref had no choice but to step in, and that is how you leave the judges out of it. Not every day you see a fight end due to a body kick like that. He used a lot of body work to slow down his opponent. Once his opponent slowed down, he was able to really impose his will on him and get the finish in such a high-profile fight. Let's get to the official decision here once more, Bruce Buffett. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Herb Dean has called a stop to this contest at 4 minutes, 12 seconds of round number 4. Declaring the winner by TKO and still the undisputed UFC heavyweight champion of the world, Bruce the Dragon. Well, what else can you say about Bruce Lee after a performance like this one? Seemingly everyone on the roster wants...